Chapter 3 The Evolution of the Rabbites We now set our focus onto perhaps the most important galaxy in the universe, besides the Dakariata, which is the Milky Way. When the Rabbites arrive at this galaxy, they notice no signs of life, which gives them automatic permission to colonize the place. Unfortunately, they do not have the technology that their ancestors used to colonize the Dakariata, so they are forced to stay put on one habitable planet and hope they can rebuild civilization in this new galaxy. However, the vast majority of their population is more interested in worshipping Big Chungus and don't care about advancing in technology. After millennia had passed, the society forgets about the Dakariata and becomes only focused on the praising and worshipping of Big Chungus. Millions of years later, and the race begins evolving longer necks to hopefully become slightly closer to the scale of Big Chungus, and ears to more closely match Big Chungus, the previous horns that they once had shrinking into non-existence. You might say that they looked a bit like purple giraffes, and this is how they remain until their inevitable demise.